What's up, everybody? Today we're going to talk about function notation and functions. Okay, I want to do a high level overview because when I was your age, wherever you're watching, maybe you're my age watching now, um, I used to like memorize because I didn't entirely know what I was supposed to be studying. I survived some of those tests until I realized what I was supposed to be studying, but let's just say that I didn't have teachers who like laid it out very well for me. So here's what I want to tell you about functions. Um, and this will serve you as you go into calc and beyond. When you see operations, if you see f plus g of x, what that's saying is the entire function of one, the entire, the entirety of one function is just added to the entirety of a second function. If you have minus, well, well, let's write it down. Okay, let's say you have two whole functions. This is a high level overview. I'm not telling you what these functions are. A function is anything. It could be a line, it could be a conic section, it could be a, be a sinusoidal trigonometric function. So let's say we have this. This is function notation. This is the f of x. So this, you're saying this, the function is f. The input is x. This, the function is g. The input is x. So so these are the functions are f and g, okay? Just to be plain on how you read this, again, math is a lane. The functions are f and g. So if you say f plus g x, that just means f of x plus g of x, okay? They're, the exa they're that exact thing, okay? f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. And down the way we go, okay? These are the same things. And you might be going, oh my gosh, Ms. Thompson, I completely don't get what you're writing. You might see, in a weird way, this is like the distributive property, because we're distributing the x to its functions. These are all equivalences, okay? So if your teacher writes it this way, or your teacher writes it that way, they mean the same thing. They mean that you take the entirety of one function and you multiply it by the entirety of the other function. Okay? Now, hope you have that down because we're erasing. We're not doing the, the Khan Academy way where he scrolls, which, you know, maybe I should slash could, but we play along. Okay, now this is, this is something different. This, this is now something totally different. This is f of g of x. What this means is you take the entirety of this function and put it inside that function as if it's x. And that changes a lot of things. So let me give you an example of that. Let's say, I'm going to give you two functions. Okay, f of x is x squared plus 1. g of x is 2x minus 6. Okay, this is a line, and that's a parabola, right? Again, these are things that you, at, for this video, you're supposed to know. If I say, if, my, if your teacher asks for this, f of x times g of x, you're just multiplying these. You're saying, okay, that's x squared plus 1 times x minus 6, okay? I know I ran out. x squared plus 1 times 2x minus 6. And then you've got to do, uh, you've got to do a binomial expansion binomial expansion. If you don't remember it, look it up. But, but slash, now watch. So this would end up being, we'll do, I'll do this for you, okay? It would become x squared times 2x, which is 2x cubed. x squared times negative 6 is negative 6x squared. 1 times 2x is 2x. 1 minus 6 is 6. That's what you get. So you get these four components from that. That is f of x times g of x which is the same as saying f times g of x. They're all the same, okay? One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Do 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 Okay, now, but, slash and, if I do this, f of g of x, I want you to watch what happens. So g of x is 2x minus 6. I get f of g of x is equal to 2x minus 6 squared plus 1. Do you see it? x squared plus 1. x squared plus 1. That's f of x. Oh, I need an extra parenthesis. <coughs> this is g of x. 
2x squared, 2x minus 6 squared plus 1. So I end up with 4x squared minus 24x plus 12 plus 1, which is plus 13. And in fact, g of f of x is different because g is 2x minus 6 and this is x. So g of f of x is 2x squared plus 1 minus 6. Do you see it? So this becomes 2x squared plus 2 minus 6, which just becomes minus 4. Don't ever erase your steps on a test like I just did there. Don't ever do it. I know I did it here, I did it there, because I was running out of room. In the judgment call of which was more important, having them side by side or erasing, I judge. But look, these are completely, totally different answers, right? f of g of x, g of f of x. And they're totally different answers from this multiplication up here. Okay, functions and function notation. The notation is just a big multiplication, okay? As you move on in algebra, the multiplying just becomes bigger, okay? It's like you're an adult. You're adulting in math. Okay, the same way that like when you're a kid, you have an allowance and you, you know, or you have a part time job while you go to school and you're, you don't have to really pay for all your bills yet. When you're an adult, you pay for everything. Or they turn off your Wi Fi, you know what I'm saying? That's what this is. You have to have the skill set to make it expansive, right? If you can figure out how to manage your, you know, 15, 10, 15 dollar an hour job and pay, pay what you want and save and be responsible, you're probably going to be okay as an adult. It's the truth. Um, Oakley dokley. So that's functions. And that was kind of a fun, simple one. Um, not a high level overview, not a ton of talking. I hope you still had fun. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Please like and subscribe. Okay. If you watch this far, it just helps the algorithm. Seriously. If I get more sub subscribers and I get more watch hours, it allows me to help people with math. I'm not getting paid. I'm a teacher of I'm a teacher of 25 years. I'm doing other things in life. I, I, I don't teach in the classroom anymore, and I just want to make sure that kids still get what they need. The last time I was in the classroom, um, I, I was recognizing that a lot of kids were, were filling in the gaps online. So... That's what I'm trying to do. And if you like, subscribe, and share, it just helps the algorithm so that it can help more kids to find me. And I'll answer any question anyone ever asks me as best I can. All right. Have a good day. Miss Thompson out.